got my flying scissors. Ah, I can leave now. You guys are such troopers, I love you guys. <laughs> Our hotel is back there. And yeah. In the hotel chilling before we have our what's it called or meet and greet or something meet and greet there's a fancy word for it mixer yeah the mixer the welcome mixer i can't believe it's just the first day it feels like we've been traveling for a couple of days already we are doing the welcome mixer Like alcohol. Yeah. What about you? It tastes like cider or beer. Yeah, it tastes like alcohol. It looks like Yeah. First day. I'm ready for breakfast. Oh, me too. Morning. Morning. smile like the queen no you look much yeah. too happy um the albert memorial would be impressive oh. winston churchill we've got a lot of stuff in london that we've acquired and we can't give back because if one thing goes the whole lot goes and i'm unemployed How are you liking the tour? I am loving it so far. Beautiful, I had to keep from crying. I know, right? <laughs> yes.
open the champagne, we hug the police officers, <laughs> and we go home with the emergency services. <laughs> and I must tell you, as a Brit, if you get a police escort home, respect. Your neighbours will respect you. Come round here Fridays and Saturday evenings, and you will see a lot of sad looking people hanging around. <laughs> Her Majesty's Theatre. Okay, I made a couple of phone calls. How are you liking the tour? Loving it. Yeah. We just passed by the place where they proclaim really important announcements and we'll talk about that later. So back there is the house of Prince Harry and his fiance. I was here a few days ago. We had a whole medley of James Bond. Are you excited? Yes, I am. <laughs> huh? Do you want to be one of the guards? Ooh. I mean, I'll look good in that costume, but I mean, no. <laughs> And now we are at the Big Ben. That is Richard I. So Cordelion, Heart of the Lion. Castle over there. Right there is some really cool palace. And right there is Westminster Cathedral or palace, or something, I'm sorry. So we are at Westminster Abbey. Directions to get to Greenwich. I was debating between Greenwich and Benjamin Franklin House, but I'm gonna go with Greenwich because, like, okay, so here we go. <laughs> Reminds me of Mr. Shelburne's French movies, peaceful and calm and beautiful. <sighs> I made it at the Royal Observatory of Greenwich. Oh, right there. Good. I made it. I'm at the Prime Meridian. I am in, and it is right there. This is me stepping on the Prime Meridian. 
to breeze through because I literally had less than an hour like 50 minutes to do this but it is really gorgeous out here I'm gonna go get me some souvenirs to bail out of the London pub experience because it's just not my thing. But I got a pizza, so it's nice. All right, I am all dressed up and ready to go downstairs to get some breakfast and to give Danielle her charger because I took it accidentally, sorry. So I will see you all soon. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So we are headed to Shakespeare's Theater. lunches oh that was <laughs> Sal. so we almost just got arrested for jaywalking just but we get in. in yeah that was great yeah close great. call <laughs> close call <laughs> and we're right in front of the millennium bridge say oh you photoshopped that in what will you do video do you photoshop a video it's true <laughs> this is where harry potter happened It's so pretty! Wow. <laughs> I'm actually starting to recognize stuff. I like that pink. Tower of London. There's the shark. So yeah, if you go in the eye, you'll see all of this. Oh, really? Yeah. So beautiful. So, there's the Tower of London right there. And that is the shard. This is the bridge. That is St. Paul's Cathedral another bridge over there so such an amazing sight
Spheres Globe, we're here! So exciting! <laughs> We're going to see a guided tour of the inside of the theater and we get to see a rehearsal but I won't be able to record it or take any videos because it's a rehearsal so we'll just get to experience it but we'll show you guys the exhibit and part of the tour. So this is where people would sit to watch the um, the plays. This is where all the peasants would sit, so where the peasants. Well actually the higher up peasants would sit here and be two peasants to stay here. And then all of the poorest of the peasants would actually stand on these steps and pay a penny. It is so cool. We just got done with the tour and it was amazing. And we're at the gift shop so. Just left Global Theater over there, and now I'm just taking a stroll, taking a drink, walking, and headed over to a bridge over there. That looks really cool. The moon is amazing. Apparently, I'm on the Blackfriars Bridge, and this is the bridge where Jim and Tessa met. And I had known I was on here all along, and it's great. the British Museum about less than an hour before it closes, as was the same for Greenwich. I went to the Benjamin Franklin house and it was kind of disappointing because apparently it's just architectural, which is like boring, and apparently all the actual stuff that Benjamin Franklin owned, they're all in Philadelphia, so that's nice. Can't wait to see the Rosetta Stone. right there and there's a cloud of people over there. So that's pretty cool. So 
I just finished my day, so I'm headed to the hotel to pack up, to get some rest, and I'm super excited to go to Paris, and London was awesome, and I was tired after Shakespeare today. My feet are killing me. I've got a blister on my heel. It's beautiful. But everyone's really nice, and they help me get directions everywhere under the tunnels, so thank you very much for that. Okay, so recap. When I went to the Toss restaurant, I sat next to these um, two British ladies, and they were so kind to me, and she said that you have to quote-unquote um, keep the Roman boys away by beating them with a stick or something, so that's frightening. My feet are killing me. <laughs> um, this is all the stuff I bought for my family and for my uncle, sister, book in the thrift store that I showed you guys earlier. So today's our last day in London this morning, so I'm going to go get breakfast right now and then we're going to head to Paris, which is exciting. I'm wearing a pink dress and as usual, London mornings are beautiful. We got my suitcase ready to go and yeah, let's head out. So we are having our last breakfast in London. What did you do yesterday? Um, actually yesterday we left London, but we went to go see Stonehenge. Oh my gosh, yeah. Yeah, you got super close. It was like 10 feet away. It was awesome. <laughs> and you got to see Bath too? Mm-hmm. Bath, London, and Windsor. And the Queen was in because of the flag. She was in? Oh my gosh. And then she came here later on because Grant's photo showed the, the, uh, the flag. Oh my goodness, I forgot. The Royal Standard was flagged. Oh, that's so cool. I am so excited. So you excited for Paris? Yes. <laughs> so excited. So basically we're at the station where we're going to take a train, the longest underground or underwater railroad in the world, to Paris from London. So we are officially in France, but we're still not like in the main city yet. We'll get there. 